to discuss how to balance a chemical equation. Chemical equation, that means the way that, with the help of which you are going to write the chemical reaction. In our last class, we discussed what a chemical reaction is. It is nothing just simply, you can say, the uh, breakage of the old bond and the formation of the new bond, which is leading to the formation of new compound. Even I showed you some kind of the, uh, the example of that. So, before balancing, we should know how to express a chemical reaction with the help of the other things, like the symbol, word. Okay? So, that we are calling as the chemical equation. It is actually the symbolic representation. Let's take an example, formation of water. How you are going to write it? When hydrogen combines with oxygen, it leads to the formation of water. It is self-defining, nothing you need to add, but just think, just think it is taking very good time, okay? In your exam, in your uh, various other things, you have to write a lot of equations, a lot of chemical reaction. If you are going to write it in this, this form, it will span continue. So for that, just to get rid of all these things, what we are doing, we are using some way to express a chemical equation in other form. Two forms are there. One is with the help of word and the other with the help of symbol. If you are using word, you are calling that equation as the word equation. Instead of writing the entire sentence, what I am going to write now, hydrogen plus means is going to react with oxygen and O. That means after reaction, you will get water. So all the things written in the left hand side, they are reactants. And what is written? The right hand side, it is product. There can be more than one or uh, two products also. Okay? Here, it is giving you only one. So that's why I have written only one. Thing. You can add more by adding plus, plus, plus. Okay? So hydrogen, oxygen, it will give you water. Again, it is taking time in writing. H, Y, T, R, O, G, E, N. Just taking time. In your ninth class, you learned how, what are the various symbols given to the element. Okay? For hydrogen, yeah, the, its elemental form is H2. For oxygen, it is O2. For water, it is H2O. How I come to, uh, came on this H2O? Again, something related to your ninth class. You learn how to make formula. The valency of hydrogen is 1. Valency of oxygen is 2. On cross multiplication, you will get H2O. That's why I have written is H2O. This kind of equation is known as word equation using words. Using symbol is symbolic equation. H2 plus O2 will give you H2O. The other way, you are calling this symbolic equation as the Skeletal chemical equation only. That means the chemical equation which is giving you the relative information, the basic information about the reaction that what you need to make water. Okay. So this is the way. Now our next next step is to balance it. So before that, my a question came in our mind that what is the need to balance it? Just telling us everything. The need is every equation, every chemical reaction has to follow law of conservation of mass okay law of conservation of mass again in your ninth class how you are verifying it mass of product mass of reactant if it is equal that means it is following the law of conservation of mass if not so that means it is not following here uh, you can follow the other method also instead of finding the mass you can check the number as well how many atoms of hydrogen are there two how many there two well how many atoms of oxygen? Two. But product side it is one only. It is not balanced. That means obviously it is not going, it is not following the law of conservation of mass. So we have to balance it. Yes. Now to balance a chemical equation, we are going to follow some steps. I'll tell you how. Simultaneously, just take a pen or pencil. You can just do it with me. In the question, the sentence or the way how they are going to react in each other is given to you when hydrogen combines with oxygen. So the very first step is to convert this into the skeletal equation. So as I already told you, the formula for the equation is going to be H2 will give you H2O. This is the very first step. Write the symbolic form. 
the next step to enclose all this element compound molecule given in the reaction in a box like this now again a science is having reason behind everything reason for this why i'm putting all the elements of compound in a box because you are not going to make any change in this okay it will remain h2 you cannot make it as 2h you have cannot add anything inside the box if you want to write something you are going to write in front of the box okay no one you are not going to write anything other than this point only at the front clear first step skeletal equation second step to enclose it in the box now next step to count the number of atoms how many atoms are there two to form this molecule How many atoms? Two. How many atoms? Three. Two of hydrogen, one of oxygen. So among these all, which one is having the largest number or the maximum number of the atom? It is having the maximum number of atoms, three. So we'll start balancing from this only. Among these two also, which is having the more hydrogen? Clear? So take hydrogen first. How many atoms are there? Two. How many atoms are there? Two. It is already balanced. Now check with the oxygen. How many atom? One. How many atom? Two. To balance it, write the coefficient in front of the molecule. As I said, only in front of the molecule. Two oxygen. Two oxygen. Done. But just before finalizing, let's check the number of each element again. H two, four H. Change. Two oxygen. Two oxygen. Balance. In balancing oxygen, it is affecting the number of hydrogen as well. So before finalizing, before putting that, this is going to balance chemical equation. All the time verify this whether it has balanced or not. So I have to check for the hydrogen as well. So I write this equation again. Two H. To go as my hydrogen is not balanced, this uh, balanced hydrogen is there. How many are there? Four. Two into two, four. How many are there? Two. If I multiply it with two, it will give you the four. Again, check. Two into two, four. Two into two, four. Two, two. Balance. Now this my equation is balanced. After that, the next step is to remove this. Box, whatever you need. This is going to be my equation. I just rub this to save my space. Otherwise, you have to write it again. My equation is balanced, okay? But it is still looking incomplete to me. Why? Because it is not giving me the entire, or you can say, all information about this reaction. What? I'm taking hydrogen. Fine. But hydrogen is in the form of gas, or in the form of liquid, or in the form of solid. I'm not aware. Same goes for this. Same for this. I'm getting water. So H two O, whether it's a water or ice or steam, again no information. So after this one, you have to write, or you can say the first step is going to be what H two. But here I'm going to write something in front of H two. What G, which is signifying that the hydrogen is in its gaseous form. Same for the oxygen. You have to take this also in gaseous form, and you will get H two O. But I have written A. That means you will get H two O, which is water, the liquid form of H two O. This is the way. That's how you can balance the chemical equation. There is other examples are given in your textbooks or other books also you can take, and then start balancing it by following the same step: skeletal equation, enclosing in this in the box, counting the number of atoms, balancing it, and then again counting to verify, and then at last to write the physical state of the all contributing elements, compounds, or the uh, molecule in the reaction involved. Okay, this is the way only. In our next class, we are going to learn the various kinds of chemical reactions. 
Before that, just practice this one. The moment you will get your next video, be prepared for that. You can refer your book as well. Because if you have something beforehand, you will get the things easily. You can grasp the thing easily. Stay safe.